Hello guys and welcome back to another video. We're gonna unload feed today and get the feeding done. Oh my goodness, Maverick. He has become my little sidekick. Um, his little look-alike brother. We've only got the one spotted puppy left. He went to his new home Saturday. Yeah, didn't he? And his little willow. Um, alright. So I load feed in my fancy vehicle <laughs> all the time. It works rain or shine. I never need huge loads of feed, so never an issue. Let me show you what this one's been up to. And they'll sit there. Well, I started letting Maverick ride on the four-wheeler with me, and now he comes running when I start the four-wheeler. So I can't say much. They're uh, becoming very rounded, well-rounded farm puppies. But, you know, they're at least 50% Jack Russell. Um, and then whatever Penelope is. But let's get this feed unloaded. Get some goats fed. They did not get breakfast this morning, so they're not happy with me. As soon as I start loading feed, they're going to be... Noisy. My goat ration just for that little bit of extra like fat protein um, just filler basically um, just to feed them a little bit more you know growing up corn was always the thing when you want to fatten them up to feed them so this is something new that I'm trying so I'm gonna mix it um, my dad gave me this barrel I did a previous video it would be a little while ago now but we made a, a rat trap and a big tote bucket and it did catch a few but we have a, a big rat problem that I can't keep my feed in my barn right now um, as soon as I doesn't matter what I put them in the, I mean even one of my chick brooders the cabinet brooder that I made a long time ago um, overnight when I put some baby chicks in there they ate a hole through the back of the brooder and my baby chicks are gone um, so I can't keep um anything small that i that the rats might get a hold of my biggest um i don't know where jasper went there's my jasper come here this one here has been our best rat catcher aren't you so yeah i get those rats don't i we've got them in some live traps but yeah if he sees one he generally gets it despite how big and fluffy he is he's a little overweight but uh he's athletic and he's quick See that border collie in me. Well, let's mix up our feed here.
rabbit feed. I need you to put them, they're over there by your rabbits. I need you to put them in your tote. I also gave you an extra bag of my uh, goat feed. If you all put it in there to hold on to it for me. I don't have room for it. don't mix a lot. I'm talking between these two bags. I'm going to do maybe half of this bag of corn. Right, guys there you have it like i said it's got a little bit of extra cracked corn in it i do use cracked corn not whole corn so the whole corn that's in there is just what comes with the goat ration hello bud it's my black copper moron rooster all right let's get these goats fed and see if they can not run me over
always said separate. Come on, Bobby. She gets bullied so bad. Here you go, Bobby. We got her from um, LNS Laidback Ranch. She's gonna be one of our show does this year. Go feed the two men who've already lost their grain bucket somewhere. Where's your feed buckets? Really? All the way over there? Boys are ripe smelling. Jeez. Very much. Your shadow. All right. Our one here has a uh, stick duct taped to her head. <laughs> That's because, as you'll notice, her she's a bully very badly. I mean, even uh, lace. Wolf, Maggie, they have horns. They're they're not like her. She's a whole new level. Oh, we need to fill. So this one's gonna have babies here. Hey Stardust, come here, Bubby. Come here, just eat your grain. Oh, come on, come eat your grain. Good girl. All right, stiffen up. That'll work. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Need to feel some udders. All right, make sure they're not getting too close. This one and her, Nova. They're due. Everybody else has had babies in here. Oh well, Aspen hasn't, Wolf hasn't. But their condition I'm not happy with. So, that's why they're not bred. And of course the chickens go around eating them. Oh, you'll notice this in here is my, uh... Hi, Bobby. You need to refill your water? This in here is my creep feed area. Um, babies, of course, ran out. That's why they're all jam-packed in here eating. But the goal is normally to keep feed in here that they can't engorge themselves. I did not fill up their their trough completely because I don't want them to get too full. Um, just kind of, I don't want to say it's a disclaimer, but corn normally does not do well with goats. Um, goats can bloat very easily. Corn is one of those feeds that when they eat it, eat too much of it, it ferments in their belly, creating gases, causing bloat. I'm not a vet. Don't quote me on any of this. Um, when we had some feeder calves, we fed a lot of corn. And babies don't know how to stop eating. Um, we lost, we had 12 babies one of our, our kidding seasons as we were learning. And, our, and then, you know, when things were still a little bit newer. We lost six of our babies out of 12 that year. It was not a good year. And it was all to bloat. Um, I even worked with a vet on a couple. We um, took a syringe and put in their stomachs to relieve some of the gases. It did extend their life, but in a way they're suffering. They only lasted a couple more days. Um, There's just too much. Um, it ruins the gut function. So. That's why I only do the cracked corn. I don't do whole corn. It's easier to digest, but also, you know, I don't do a lot of it. You're talking, I mixed in half a bag of corn, you know, 25 pounds of corn roughly into a hundred pounds of their normal goat ration. Um, so it's not a ton that I'm giving them either. Just so that's what my little disclaimer is as they're eating back there. Hello, Primrose. She's gonna come see if there's anything she can salvage. But there is not. No, there's not. Callie's gonna come see what she can pick at. Nothing. 
And now they're all gonna go out there to Coraline and see what Coraline has left. But they can't get to Coraline because she's out. Um, so that's just kind of our go update because I know it's been a while. I got babies running around everywhere. Actually, this doling and this doling have a deposit and are going to their new homes together. Um, this doling is out of Maggie, the white and tan right here. And that little black and white is out of Moon Pie. We had 13 babies in the span of five days. All of them have a uh, Triton here to thank as their daddy because he broke in. Even though most of these does I would have preferred to breed to him because he has been shown and uh, he actually placed fourth out of eight in his class as a four to six month old, I believe was the class. So there's our goatee update. Um, I know it's been a little while. Now we got babies around. I don't have a single birthing video out of six deliveries, but that'll be it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoy just seeing the goats, kind of seeing what we do around here. It's a normal kind of feed day for them and mixing up our, mixing up our feed and feeding and whatnot, but, um, we're going to go ahead and hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing our goats and next video maybe we'll get this back pasture cleared off so <laughs> it's gonna be uh, i dread it but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed see you on the next one